This video is for users of Tempo Weave weaving design software and today's session we is going to take an example out of Marion Stubinitsky's book Echo and Iris on page 15 and 16. This is on, in the Echo Weave section. So this is a picture from the book of the design line and here I'm simply keying that into the threading just like 88776655, etc. So looking back at page 15, the next step is to plot this on the network. Marion chooses to use a 1-3 network, so she's going to draw a ribbon four uh, squares high above the design line. And notice it needs to wrap at times when it, when it needs to wrap back to 1, 2, 3. And then the next step is to superimpose this on an imaginary 1-3 network in the warp so that you can take every design line pixel and move it up to the next valid space in that ribbon. So that it, and that makes a valid uh, weavable structure in network drafting. Now fortunately, it's, it's nice to understand the theory behind that and know what you're doing, but there's a much easier way in Tempo Weave to actually do that, taking the design line, line and simply selecting the network and it'll do the plotting for you. So we're going to show you how to do that next. On the design menu, there's a plot on network warp. When I click that, it allows me to select my network initial. And this one, uh, she actually used the 1-3 right slanting. So we could just do that and plot warp and we have exactly the same threading that she had. So if you look at the threading that uh, starts with 8 and uh, 3, 2, 1, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, etc. When you look at that line and then the next line she applies the echo. So now that it's on the network she does the echo and on the echo, she's using, um, she's plotting this on an echo with a step of four. She calls it intervals, which is fine. And it's just two parallel lines. So I'm going to do echo two. And I will do a red and a blue, because that's what she has. And just do apply. So when I apply, what I expect it to do this is my pattern line here. So we're going to have double the number of warp threads and the the from 8 will also have will have an echo that's four steps away that will be red. Or rather, I think if 8 is the pattern, the echo will be blue. So when I hit apply, that that does it. So I have two parallel lines and double the warp threads. And if you look closely at the book, you may notice that her four, her echoes come, come before the pattern lines. We put ours after, so I just swapped the warp colors, but the design will be exactly the same. It, it really doesn't matter. So now it's time to do the, uh, the tie-up. And she has a one, two, three, five on the first treadle, and I'll just use the diagonal repeat. Now the tie-up's done. So the next step is to do the design line. In the in the in the treadling. So looking at the design line, she has a one 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 two 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 three three three. I'm just using the keyboard. Until I went off the keyboard a little bit, but there we go. So we've got our design line. So now the next thing is to plot the treadling on the network as well. So up here, this is very much like the warp when we do plot on network weft. We can choose initial. Now I think she used a left one three on this one. So when I do that, now the reason it looks a little bit different right now is I need to put a blue weft color in there. And now, voila, this looks exactly like it does in the book. So that was a pretty quick way of getting that, that in there pretty easily. 
so you're good to go. Thanks for watching.